synthesis of tetracarbonyl nickel can be achieved in a number of ways. In the first method of synthesis, there are three steps. So, uh, actually, there are just two steps in the synthesis, but this is the Mons process, the originator of uh, tetracarbonyl nickel. So, I'll tell you all the three steps. What are the actual pro uh, steps of the Mons process? In the step one, nickel oxide, that is NiO, a solid, it reacts with syn gas at 200 degree centigrade to provide nickel along with some impurities which include iron and cobalt. So you must be wondering what is syngas. Syngas is a short form of synthesis gas which is a fuel gas mixture primarily consisting of hydrogen and carbon monoxide but it might have some traces of carbon dioxide. Step 2 the mixture, the impure, that is the impure nickel reacts with carbon monoxide at a temperature range of 50 to 60 degree centigrade and forms the gaseous nickel carbonyl and impurities are left behind as solids. In step 3, the mixture of nickel carbonyl and syngas that is heated to 220 to 250 degree centigrade resulting in the decomposition back that is uh, reversibly nickel and carbon monoxide is given back. So uh, the step 2 which is our main step of formation of tetracarbonyl nickel in gaseous state uh, along with step 3 which is not of our much concern. Uh, they are an example of chemical transport reaction. Now, a chemical transport reaction describes a process for purification and crystallization of non-volatile solids. This technique, which uh, was proposed by Harald Schaffer, shows the reversible conversion of non-volatile elements and chemical compounds into volatile derivative. The volatile derivative migrates throughout a sealed reactor, typically a sealed and evacuated glass tube, which is heated in a tube furnace. Now, because this tube is under a temperature gradient, the volatile derivative reverts to the parent solid and the transport agent is released at the end opposite to which it originates. The transport agent thus acts as a catalyst. So this technique requires that the two ends of the tube in which, uh, which contains the sample which is to be crystallized be maintained at different temperatures. So this is also called a two zone tube furnace which is used for this purpose. Now, this is the uh, same uh, method which you might recall as Van Arkel method, which was used for the purification of very um, sensitive metals like titanium and so on. So, there we use iodine as the transport agent. So, this was the detail of the first method for the synthesis of tetracarbonyl nickel. In the second method of synthesis, it can be made by heating uh, nickel iodide with carbon monoxide in the presence of copper, which thereby acts as an halogen acceptor and gets released as copper iodide and forming nickel carbonyl. In the third method of synthesis, it can also be prepared by passing carbon monoxide through alkaline suspensions of nickel sulfide or nickel cyanate to provide nickel carbonyl. Certain properties of tetracarbonyl nickel as it is a colorless liquid with a melting point of a range of minus 17 degree centigrade and a boiling point of 43 degree centigrade. It is not soluble in water but dissolves in most of the organic solvents.
Now on passing uh, gaseous hydrochloric acid in the solution of tetracarbonyl nickel, it uh, starts decomposition of the original compound. Now on reaction with uh, the moist nitric oxide, a blue colored compound, complex compound is obtained. Also on reaction with sulfuric acid, sulfate salt of nickel is produced.